Hi, I've received a lot of questions about why my EDM, my email direct mail marketing is not working. So meaning to say, perhaps uh, they have been working well, but recent year it has stopped working. Well, actually today I'm going to share why. And it's actually very simple. It's really about, all about, as I've always mentioned, which is, uh, you need to start from your customer's journey first, okay? And it's very simple, actually. Let me show you. I hope I can share my screens. hope my screen is visible. Okay, so a lot of time when we receive uh, email direct marketing, right, I actually don't like to, like, take people's uh, email and break it down. But I just thought that, you know, it would be good if I use real case study. So there's no bashing here. It's all about uh, finding ways to, to improve, right? So these are the typical EDM that we receive. And it's all like, you know, um, a product brochure. There's no value. There's no impact. There's no giving value, helping to find problem or talking about a problem specific enough. And there's one thing moving forward that will be extremely important. If you want to do well, regardless, you want to do uh, WhatsApp marketing, uh, email marketing, and even ads, right? Um, SEM, um, uh, meta ads, and even YouTube ads. Why? Because there's this one thing that a lot of marketers are making. Uh, the mistake is that they only run ads when they need sales. When sales department is like complaining or making noises like, hey, we need to ramp up our marketing ads. But we need to know as a marketer, we need to create demand, generate demand, and continue to nurture the leads even when um, you know, there's no pressure with sales yet. So meaning is that we need to start way ahead of time. And um, the mistake is also training your EDM as your product brochures. Uh, really like a lot of um, example, right? These two are the typical ones. They are only sent when they need sales, when sales are needed. So no worries, um, everyone needs sales. We are realistic here. Uh, it's just that sometimes, I mean, even moving forward, right? We really, really need to accept the fact that sales process are longer these days. Why? People are uh, overwhelmed with a lot of choices. So the one best way that you can stand out to them and to really talk to the right person and the right lead is you need to hyper-personalize. Who are you talking to? Um, is it like leadership? people in what industry so that they will pay attention to your email so that they will feel the email is relevant to them. Then you need to share how are your product helping them to solve their problem. So you need to also show testimonials. So instead of like just a brochure, product brochure, it should be like a mini landing page already. And worse is when your CTA, like click or sign up, it's like, uh, it's like being done at... Uh, like you lead people to your website, but website is very confusing. There's a lot of different, different things. So it's not hyper-personalized for them. That's why your email uh, marketing, if you want it to work really well, you need to hyper-personalize to the receiver. So let's say if you're targeting, for example, financial institution or insurance company, then you need to make sure the content, the subject headline, the benefit, the pain point, that your product can actually solve even the testimonials, client review should be hyper personalized for that industry alone, right? And do not only send promotional messages. You need to have a mix of nurturing content, and sometimes unattractive offer is also one of the leading cause of uh, uh, why is it not working? And uh, oftentimes people like to use direct to purchase CTA when. Uh, people are actually not ready to purchase. They might, if you give enough value and help them to clarify a few things, let's say like a diagnostic, you can offer diagnostic or audit to even see if they really need it and how they are benefiting from it. Now, this is not saying that, oh, you won't get any sales. It's contrary to this belief, actually. By helping them find out their problem, clarifying, finding root cause, give free audit, or even a, offer a free two-hour workshop or webinar, if you are willing, it's like showcasing to them what you can actually do for them. Let them experience your differences 
like the differences between you and the many other competitors who are not willing to offer the same thing, let them experience and let them decide. And most of the time, this will actually increase the conversion rate. Why? Because you need to consider that the buyer's journey is very complicated, especially when it comes to higher ticket or B2B sales. We are quite blind, to be honest. We thought that uh, when we do ads, when we send EDM, when we send blast, email, whatever, WhatsApp blast, we assume that people are already wanting it. But actually, the, the truth is 10% of the market is ready. Is the in-market or ready to purchase? And 90% are not ready. So how are your marketing messages, your email content, your website content, your landing page, your email nurture, your social media content actually helping them? So if I were, you know, marketer of B2B, I would prepare things like Nick Magnac, e-guidebook, a free two-hour webinar to actually help them and guide them through that decision-making process. Because as mentioned, it can be very overwhelming. So the best way that we can actually do is to guide them through that process and help them solve problems. I hope this helps.